Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be drawing inky botanicals. Before we jump in, the brushes that I'm using are offered as a freebie on Design Cuts. It's the Pandem ink brushes, and the paper texture that I'm using is the Maker's Paper Texture, which is a new texture that I have on my site, also available for free. You can download both of those things following the links in the description. You also might find it useful to watch my video on tips for drawing dimensional leaves as sort of a primer before this tutorial. I'm going to be incorporating some techniques from that, or if not, you can just dive into the tutorial. So let's get into it. I'm going to start, I'm just going to start painting in some stem and branch shapes here. This is very simple line work, but the key is to keep them all pretty flowing. Now I'm going to zoom in here and start to paint some leaves. And now when I have places like this that cross over the stem, I'm immediately going to go in and erase that crossover spot. So now that we have our leaves and stem drawn, I'm going to move on to my very bottom layer. So I have a layer in between here and still staying on this blotted pen, I'm going to draw a circle shape and then hold until this ellipse is created. And then I tap down with one finger to make a perfect circle. And without lifting my pencil, I'm able to adjust the size of this. So that's roughly the size that I want. I'm gonna release and tap edit shape and that will allow me to perfectly center this the way that I want. And then I'm gonna use the eraser tool. And what I typically like to do is use the eraser on the brush that I was using to draw or paint. So to do that, I just press and hold on the eraser and it'll automatically start erasing with the brush that I was using on the brush tool. And then I'm going to erase not just these spaces of overlap, but I'm going to add just a slight margin on either side. Now I'm gonna go into a layer above the leaves that I painted, still using this slotted brush, but I'm going to bring the size down and I'm gonna add some detail to the leaves. So next I'm going to go in with some color and for this I'm going to use this Angry Inkling brush and I'm actually going to tweak this slightly. So I'm going to tap to go into the brush studio and then into color dynamics. But I want color variation within my stroke as well as some slight differences amongst the leaves. So I am going to adjust the stroke color jitter to about 5% which will just add some slight variation and then the color pressure, I'm going to adjust the hue to 3% and the saturation to 3% as well. I'm gonna make sure that I'm on a clean layer. This layer is between my greenery that I've drawn, the leaves and the stem, and above the circle that I drew. And this is going to be a little bit messy, so I'm not particularly worried about staying in the lines. And now I'm going to switch to this brown color and still on the same layer, turn the size down and just fill in these little bits of stem here. And then I want to add a little bit of shading. To do this, I'm going to go onto a layer on top. I'm gonna to change the blend mode to overlay. And then I'm selecting this black color still on the Angry Inkling brush. I'm going to turn the opacity down slightly. And 
And now as a last step, I am going to go back to my very bottom layer with a circle and I'm gonna use the sneezed brush and just add in some ink blots here. Now as a finishing touch, I am using the eraser to remove just a smidge of the leaf fill to clean things up. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Hopefully you learned something. Leave any questions that you might have in the comments below. Feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for more. I put out new videos every week. Thanks again. I'll see you in the next one.